everyone, this is Maki. Has the movie Gundam Seed Freedom been released in your area? It's really heartwarming to see that fans from different regions are enjoying it. This time, I am going to talk about content that contains spoilers for the movie. For those who prefer to watch the movie without any prior information, I recommend watching this program after watching the movie. Now the second volume of the novel version of the movie has been released. I bought it, but it has not arrived yet. I stumbled upon some information about X, and it seems that the name of Astra and Sugar in combination with the Cavalier has been revealed. It's called the Amazing Zugok. The fact that it has the exact same name as Amazing Zugok from the Gundam Build series has been a topic of discussion. In a previously released book called Character Archive, the name of the Strike Rouge was listed as Amazing Strike Rouge when combined with the Cavalier. To be honest, when I first saw this entry, I wondered if the name had been recorded incorrectly. This is because the name Amazing is used extremely often in the build series. With many mobile suits like Zoki Amazing Gundam Amazing Red Warrior Gundam Amazing Xir and Amazing Strike Freedom Gundam using the name Amazing it's queer. Why? It turns out that the name Amazing Strike Rouge was not a misprint after all. Pretty surprising, isn't it? Have you subscribed to the channel yet? I recently started on X as well. If you don't mind, please subscribe Let's Explore the Amazing World of Gundam together. This time, we will be analyzing content from the magazine Gundam Ace published in Japan and interviews with staff members broadcast by the Public Broadcaster Japan Broadcasting Corporation. Don't you think that the wings on the back of the Infinite Justice Gundam Type 2 resemble something? I thought they looked like the X-Wing from the Star Wars series. There have been some opinions among fans that it resembles the X-Wing. Mr. Fukuda talked about it a bit. At the beginning of the movie's planning, there was a concept of a mobile base like mech that Asran and the others would pilot. It was disc-shaped with submarine-like capabilities. It also had rooms and facilities inside where personnel could live. Later, when I was designing the backpack for the Infinite Justice Type 2, I had an idea. It kind of looks like an X-Wing, doesn't it? So let's have a mech that docks, like the Millennium Falcon. And then I remember the Cavalier's evil from Metal Armor Dragnar. These ideas combined to create the Cavalier Eid. It seems that the similarity of the Infinite Justice Type 2's wings to the X-Wing was coincidental. By the way, if Asran plays the role of Han Solo, I wonder if his son would end up being the protagonist's enemy. It could be a bit disturbing. The term mass-produced freedom is a familiar concept among fans. It refers to the setting in which the mobile suits used as a reference for the design of the Strike Freedom Gundam exist. Also during the planning stages of the movie, there was an idea that the large number of Kiros clones would appear as enemies. It seems that there was also an idea to introduce the mass-produced Freedom Mobile Suit as an enemy. Mr. Fukuda stated the following. In the early stages of planning, the enemy Mobile Suits would be a large number of mass-produced Freedoms. Kira Yamato and his companions have become extremely powerful pilots. To counter them, the enemies would have to be quite formidable. However, upon further reflection, this idea didn't seem very good, so it wasn't adopted. As a result of reconsidering the idea, it seems that the Black Knight Squad was born. The Femto Tech Armor a strong armor resistant to beam weapons may be a remnant of the mass-produced freedom idea. 
There is an assumption that after the completion of the Freedom Gundam, the Soft Army started to design the mass-produced Freedom, developing a new mobile suit. As a hypothetical enemy against one's own powerful mobile suit is not particularly strange. Miss Yugoto, who wrote the screenplay and the novel version of the film, also gave an interview. She completed the movie by inheriting the proposal of the late Chiaki Morosawara. She finished a movie that used the strengths of Miss Morosawara's stories. There are scenes that are popular among fans the scene where Infinite Justice Type 2 emerges from a Zugok, a Kotsuki reflects an attack with Requiem, and Destiny Gundam destroys Requiem. Regarding these scenes, Goto said, The actions of the Zugok, a Kotsuki and Destiny Gundam were already prepared in the scenario provided by Miss Morozawa. I felt strongly that I had to see these scenes with my own eyes. This led to the creation of the movie's script. I am sure the fans can understand this feeling. Ms. Goto interpreted the strengths of Ms. Morosawa's works, analyzed the direction that fans wanted, and reflected it in the script. Creating your own unique work is wonderful. But reviving a deceased person's creation and completing it in a way that pleases the fans is also a very admirable approach, isn't it? This is a person who deserves the compliment amazing. Interviews with the staff were also aired on television programs. Mr. Saji Taketa, who was in charge of production, and Ms. Kaori Shida, who participated in setting production, talked about the theme of the Seed series in interviews. Seed was created with the important theme of conveying the tragedy and folly of war. Many fans had sensed this theme, but it was emphasized again in this interview. It was important to carefully portray what kind of situations arise from war. In my previous programs, I also introduced similar content based on interviews with the staff. There was a discussion about the scene where Mayu Asuka's arm is torn off and she falls. The TV station requested that the cross section of Mayu's arm be covered with dark white to hide it. However, Mr. Takeda strongly objected to this request. He believes that children should see with their own eyes the consequences of war. It was also important to express that for people caught up in war, mobile suits are only terrifying creatures, not cool ones. The story depicts scenes in which people lose their lives to mobile suit attacks. At this time, Mobile suits do not have human expressions. They take lives dispassionately as machines. The horror of being an entity that takes life as a machine without the expressions of heroes or villains was emphasized. And what causes more? This was discussed with the example of what Mrs. Morosawa had said earlier. For example, among children, a small trigger can lead to someone being ostracized. Perhaps the curse of war is a similar phenomenon? In the seed story, there are scenes where Kyo feels a distance from his comrades because he is a coordinator. Though when his comrades are close to Kyo and never in a hostile atmosphere, However, Ms. Morosawa thought that emotions like war and discrimination could arise from such small incidents that gradually accumulate and grow. How can wars be ended? It was said that this could be accomplished by people considering what kind of beings their neighbors are. Seed has often shown scenes where judgments are made based on conditions such as because they are coordinators or because they are not alls. However, change begins when it's realized that the other is not just a natural or coordinator but a human being with personality. Kira and Dasran get a lot of attention 
But the Archon has also undergone significant changes. He discriminates by saying, not all are stupid beings. However, through encounters with people like Mary Owen, he learns that they are the same people as himself. In the novel, Finding Tao's photo also serves as a catalyst for Darko's change of heart. An interesting element was found in the comments of Takanori Nishikawa, who performed the same song. He was commenting on the production of the Seed movie, but he was talking about content that is common to the overall theme of Seed. I really wanted the Seed movie to be made, and I mentioned this wish many times at my concerts. At the same time, however, I wondered if my remarks were causing Mr. Fukuda pain. While expressing your wishes, it's also necessary to be imaginative about other people's feelings. Perhaps this kind of thinking is necessary to eliminate war from the world of the Seed series. Mr. Fukuda said, Thinking from only one direction is very dangerous. The ideology that it must be this way, that it should be this way, leads to the denial of others. Let's recall a scene from the Seed Ani. The scene where Andrew Waldfeld and Kakali Yua asked her arguing about which sauce to put on the kebab. Chili sauce or yogurt sauce, which is tastier. While it may seem like a peaceful scene, it can also be interpreted as depicting war on a smaller scale. Both sauces are delicious, and the correct answer depends on personal preference. That element alone, by denying the other and imposing one's own view, can lead to bad results. Kiwa's kebab is ruined because the yogurt and chili sauce are mixed together, spoiling the flavor. As a result of imposing opinions on each other, a situation is created in which no one is happy. The story illustrates that tolerating and understanding beings different from oneself is a key to ending wars. In the novel, Kira comments on the kebab incident it wasn't as bad as I thought, but it mostly tasted like the sauce. Many fans hope that the Seed series will be continued in other anime. This element was briefly discussed in the interviews. Ms. Lyugoto said, In the novel version, we didn't go into much detail about the freedom pillage incident. This is because we hope for further development of the Seed series. Mr. Fukuda said, The characters in Seed have very sensitive hearts the impression they make can change significantly depending on the lines they are given. That's why I want to continue to look after them, as Ms. Moore also were created them. If new projects with stories about Kira or Afran, Shin and others are planned, I would like to take on different challenges. The film's box office performance is very strong. It seems there is hope for the Seed series to continue. Thank you for watching to the end. Let's meet again in the next program.